Hello my friend, it's King Gabriel here again. Today's video is really send the denser energies. And when I speak of the denser energies, I simply mean the thought patterns that are thought over and over and over until they condense and they almost feel like they're a part of you. Right? They're not a part of you in reality, but they feel like they're a part of you. Right? You are light. Okay? You're a field of this beautiful, divine light. And when you start to take on thought patterns that are not you, what starts happening is it feels like there are blotches in your space. It feels like there are blotches around you that stop you from feeling like yourself. Right? Now, it's not that that is the truth about you, but because you believe it with all the power that you do have, you experience yourself as such and you create a scenario where your experience tells you that it is that way as well, right? But experience cannot really be the proper gauge for what is true, okay? Because experience changes as you change your mind about yourself. So then a closer level of truth would be what you make up your mind about as being true. That would be closer to truth. It is not truth still, but it would be closer. It would be in the direction of truth, right? The truth about you is beyond that. But let's not get too much into truth because that always becomes a topic of deep conversation. And we just want to talk about this lightly today. So releasing the denser energies, I have two ways to do that. And I'm just going to share that here to make this simple. Number one, meditation. Right? Meditation, full focus on the energy that is within you, full focus on the whatever type of meditation you're doing. If it's breathing meditation, you pay attention to the breath fully, then in the background, what has to happen to realign you will happen. If you focus on, let's say, uh, light within you or any of those things that you would allow your mind to go to, whether it's an outside object, if you're doing Zazen or any of those types of meditation as well, the idea of focusing and letting the mind be on its own doing what it's doing allows everything to regenerate. There's no longer the blockages or the focus on those blockages to keep them alive, right? So that's one way to do it and it is the quickest way. Number two, mindfulness is what they call this, but I would call it just looking at what's in the mind and being willing to make a change, okay? You as the one who is in control of the mind are able to make changes in that mind. For instance, let's say there's a thought that pops up related to something that hap happens in your environment and you feel a twinge. You feel like something inside in the pit of your stomach where it's almost like you're gone into a state of fear or upset about it. And then in that upset, you get to learn something. You learn that this thing that you're viewing, you're viewing it in a way that has you feel funny inside. Therefore, that thought that you have is not correct for you. It's not correct for your advancement. And so what you can do is look at what's there, realize what you're judging about it or projecting onto it, and be willing to release that. Now, the way to release that is, many. there are many ways, but I'll give three this time. I want to give three. The first one, I learned this a long time ago. You actually allow that thought itself to look like a bubble or a cloud or whatever and you float it away into like a bin or whatever and just let it go or you let it go into the sky just whatever makes you believe that it's gone because it's all about your belief at this point so you believe that it's floated away or that it's gone into a bin and the bin has gone to outer space or however you want to see it as long as you let it go away that's the main point right that's one way the next way is to bring a positive thought close in your mind in proximity to that negative thought when those two thoughts are together the positive thought is then a choice and you can jump from the negative thought onto the positive thought and write that instead enough focus mm -hmm. on the positive thought will allow it to go away right so that's number two the third way to do it is simply this you know the truth about yourself you are divine light you are love you are inspired being that is inspired by the creator you live in spirit you are spirit if you can take that in and really believe these sorts of thoughts seem to be abstract, but these are real when you believe them. As you believe them and you have them as true, then those other thoughts cannot be true as well. Only the truth about you will be true, the truth that you accept. So then you are eliminating that thought by thinking the new thought. And so you allow yourself to move off of that thought and that thought dissipates because it has no energy. 
and that is how we transform the denser energies into the positive energies now the meditation that i was speaking about earlier what would happen as you do it is you may have in the system a lot of different different changes occur along your midsection or where those chakras are aligned you'll have like vibrations and different sorts of things come up that may be scary to some people but they're there for a purpose right we are we function on this level as um, these bioelectric beings in a sense we have electricity running through our bodies and that can be measured on a battery and measured with a, um, a voltmeter etc so we have current running through us and when that current's moving it can feel like well what is this I don't know that the body has that stuff but yeah you do have current in you and you have electricity and magnetism and all these different things flowing in you that we're not aware of because our focus in science is basically based on the matter of it we know that there is some sort of electricity that flows through the system but we don't know that it can be that intense and it can get very intense we're more powerful than we think so really and truly if these things start happening to you don't think that it's something terrible just be calm about it if you do make a big deal out of it you may cause yourself symptoms that you don't even need to have so in resting in it relaxing in it and allowing what has to happen to happen you're restored to your natural place it's easy okay so that's what i wanted to say today i'm not going to talk much longer because this is meant to be a nice short intro right but do check back all right such a pleasure to be with you today and i hope that you can learn from that and remove those denser energies when you're ready to okay eternal love and infinite peace